So we've got some exciting news to share with all of you. Um, we've got now three ST Seed tail springs for the PA18 Super Cub. We're gonna go through their pluses and minuses with you in this video. And we're also gonna show you some drop test uh, footage from the test to get them approved in ST Seed. And the three we're gonna go through are the steel tail spring, the titanium tail spring, and then the Super Cub North T3 tail spring. All right, and what we're gonna, when you look at the videos and you look at these products, what you're gonna see is sort of a drop test that simulates a three-point landing of a PA18 Super Cub, which is one of the tests you need to do with the FAA to get approval. It's, it's 175 pounds of weight, one foot off the ground dropped. Okay, so we're gonna go through these tail springs and just kinda of let you see them all. Now that you've got three STC PA18 Super Cub tail springs to choose from, we thought it was a good time to put together a video so you could see all three of them you know, next to each other and so on. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is the steel tail spring assembly. Now this is now STC. We used to sell it as an experimental product. This one comes in at 5.6 pounds, costs $549. And the G load on our test, the, the three point test is 5.7 Gs. Now, something about the G test, when we did all of our G loading, we did the tests on a baby bush wheel configuration. If you weren't using a baby bush wheel on your tail wheel, you can expect this G's to be about 0.5 G higher. So instead of 5.7, you'd be at 6.2 for this. Okay, so once again, 549 in terms of cost, $549, 5.6 pounds, and 5.7 G's on a baby bush wheel. The next one is the titanium tail spring, which we released experimental last year. It's now certified in a double and single hole configuration. This one, very expensive, $1,895 weighs 1.9 pounds, so 3.7 pounds lighter than the steel option. And the G load is one G lower than the steel, so this comes in at 4.7. So when we designed this tail spring, we were looking for that sweet spot. We were trying to find something that was lighter and worked better than the steel. Unfortunately, titanium is super expensive. So again, $1,895, 1.9 pounds, 4.7 Gs on a baby bush wheel. The third one is Dan Default of Super Cub North's T3 double shock. And this double shock is approved on the PA18 now. So this is an official certified part. He's been selling it for many, many years as an experimental part. Incidentally, as a backdrop, we've sold, T3s have sold through our company over a thousand since we started. So we've, there's over a thousand of these in the field. There's a lot of uh, information and data now on this one. Let me give you the numbers on this one. This costs $960. So it's right in between the other two. And again, you have to do the double shock one. The double shock one is the one that's certified. It weighs 6.6 .6 pounds, so it's the heaviest option that you have. So 6.6 .6 pounds. And again, compared to titanium 1.9 and steel at 5.6. And the G loading is the best G loading of all of them at 4.2. So again, titanium was 4.7. This one's 4.2. And you'll notice quite different behavior too when you, when you look in the rest of this video and see the the drop tests. So again, we got steel, titanium, and the T3, all tail spring options for the PA18 Super Cub, and all certified. Thanks.